Oh my gracious, y'all. I'm working on the Pigeon Palace and look, <laughs> our house is here. Oh man, how exciting is this? <laughs> She's gotta go let me in. My gracious, y'all have no idea how happy we are to see this. See this right here. Out here working on the Purple Pigeon Palace Aviary and guess what just drove up? A pot our, of gold! Our house. Or we think it's our house. It could be mom in laws house. But it's uh, it's poles and stuff to get started on one part of our house. Either way, we're excited. Either way. I don't Either care way. what part it we is. Don't, <laughs> we don't care if it's the garage first or if it's our house first. As long as they're getting started. Woo! I feel like Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> I did I look at the pretty sky y'all ain't it beautiful just like my wife beautiful day start on the house it is <laughs> well as you guys can see yesterday evening they dropped off our materials to get started on the barnuminium we're stoked I mean that's all I can tell you is that we're absolutely stoked about this we, we, we came over here and looked to kind of see what we had and it's obviously enough to get started on one of the houses because if you guys don't remember we're going to have our main house and then we're going to have a garage and house that will be brooks mom's so it's two structures with a breezeway in between so, and this is obviously enough to get started on one of the houses which we're happy with um we really don't care which one is get started on first uh we're, we're assuming that it's the main house but we really honestly don't don't care this is this is exciting to get this going we do got some rain coming in so we had to we, they, they covered it up for us to keep it from getting all soaking wet so probably in the next video you'll see our guy brent starting on the house <laughs> it's exciting oh i didn't mean to kick the camera we're still not 100 percent sure we'll know more here in the next day of what all is here and what all is not here we don't know if the trusses came in yet that's been our main concern or the main issue of why the house hasn't been started on yet is because the steel trusses are taking a long time to get here they were supposed to be here kind of mid december ish then it got pushed back to first of january then it got pushed back to now the middle of january and here it is the middle of january and the woods here but we don't know about the trusses now the trusses wouldn't be here right now because they need to get all this done first before they put the trusses on but we'll find all that out here when our contractor comes in and get started on the pole barn house also if you do listen to our podcast or watch our podcast because we do have two channels uh, you will know that we also have ordered our storm shelter so it is in the works it'll be here in 12 weeks and we've partnered with a company out of north alabama so we're excited about all that as well so things are starting to get going uh, the electricians have been here they've pretty much got their stuff tied up before you know not inside the house the gate company's coming this week to put our security gate up and of course mr greg is start it has been working on the pond so there's a lot of stuff going on and the purple pigeon palace we've been working on it also there's fixing to be some progress over here in the fruit orchard too while i'm over here by it i'm headed to our favorite nursery petals from the past this morning and i'm going to take a small fruit class and 
visit Jason and our good friend Tracy from Just Dig It Farm and we're going to discuss our fruit orchard and placement of things and all that. I'm going to take you guys along with us for that awesome road trip. Well, let's go look at the Purple Pigeon Palace. Hey, I meant to tell you in the last video, I drove your tractor. <laughs> you want to see all the comments of people asking, did you know I drove your tractor? I didn't. <laughs> Oh, that's It'll be fun. okay. <laughs> oh, I'm fixing to go show them the Purple Pigeon Palace. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little house dance. Oh. Because our house is here. Yeah. And then I'm going to head over to Petals. That's a good idea. Oh. You I think just, I ought to dance too? If you want to. I'm so excited I could dance. <laughs> well, you are excited. Well, I am thrilled. Oh, me. I didn't think the day would ever come. It's I been, really didn't. It's just kind of been... You know, it's been a waiting game, but you don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah. So. Anyway, crazy. I'm going to go get some stuff out of the truck so you okay. can have an empty truck when you go to pedal. Oh, that'll work. Maybe you'll load it up. Voila! There it is. We got the header boards put on. We kind of figured out what we're kind of wanting to do now as it's coming along. As you guys know, I say it all the time. I'm not a carpenter. I figure things out as I go. I tried to plan as best I can. My brain just, I just do the best I can. I will mess up, but it, it's good enough for car kill. <laughs> that, that's, why, that's why I'm not gonna frame my house, trust me. But anyways, I did get this thing going. Me and Mrs. Car kill actually did. I got started on it, but I got where I couldn't pick them big old boards up by myself and try to get them. I, I did a few of them and I was like, nah. So she came out here and helped me. Now now we can start to figure things out of how we kind of want to do it. So yeah, Purple Pigeon Palace Aviary is on the up. I mentioned the electricians being here. Y'all check this out. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Woo! <laughs> the coops have power now. We got lights in here, we got plugs in here, and, and, don't know if you can see it, let's see. And we got power to the pigeon coop as well. We didn't let them go in the pigeon coop to hook any lights and stuff up. We're gonna kind of wait till we get the aviary built and so the pigeons are outside and they're not stressed out with us being in there because those Victoria crown pigeons, which are really, really big, they're like the size of a turkey. They, um, they can get stressed out and we don't want anything to happen to them and then fly around and maybe possibly hurt themselves or some of the smaller pigeons. We got a hot plug over there, an outdoor plug. But I'm gonna put lights in that uh in the aviary and it'd just be better if we wait till the guys are outside and out of the purple pigeon palace. But I know Tiny Tim and them are excited about their new lights. I think Timmy's gonna have, to have some sunglasses. Timmy! What do you think about your lights, Timmy? Huh? What do you think about the lights, buddy? Whoa, I didn't mean to knock you off there, little man. Do you need some sunglasses? Huh? Do you need you some sunglasses? <laughs> You and Melinda? Yo, oh, speaking of Melinda, the other day, Melinda hatched another egg, which Mary Crawl thinks is a full-blooded Sarama. This is Melinda and Tiny Timmy's new baby. Your first baby. Oh, look at how pretty it is. It's so cute. <laughs> Congratulations to the new parents. Look at that, Melinda. Look at that. Look at here, Timmy. Look at that. You're a daddy. He's Timmy's the daddy. She's a Sarama. So we think we got our first full-blooded Sarama chick hatched here. And Mary Carl has put Melinda in the brooder, as you can see, 
with all the chicks, and Melinda is taking care of all of them now. She's got them all there. Um, I see one sticking his head up behind her, but she's sitting on the rest. And uh, she's being a great, great mom. Timmy, you're going to be a daddy, buddy. Well, I guess you already are a daddy. But your chicks ain't out yet. And Melinda's a great mama. Yeah. And y'all got power. How awesome is that? Oh, can you guys believe it? Oh, this makes me want to dance. You know what I was thinking? What? Instead of instead of you doing your real dance, uh -huh. this one should be a slow dance. <laughs> and <laughs> when we actually get something going, yeah, then we'll dance. Okay. But this is just just is just a celebratory moment. <laughs> There's no need for all that fast, fancy stuff. We're just, <laughs> we're just happy. Oh. And then when we get, get us some post in the ground. You mean dippy? And then we'll, then we'll, um, <laughs> I sure was trusting you, wasn't I? <laughs> then we'll celebrate because uh, we're just one step into this project. We're getting close. We're getting better. Yeah. Tucker said, what is she missing? Here comes Tucker. <laughs> Come on, Tuck Tuck. Tucker, you excited about the house? Oh, we got to show everybody, because I know people are going to notice. Tucker got a new collar. Look at Tucker's new collar. And I like it because it is a sure enough breakaway. Look at that. That's just a little thin piece of elastic that could pull right uh, apart. Oh, okay. Oh, Tucker, tell everybody that how excited you are about the house being here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's been to the barn on the side-by-side -side twice this morning. Has she? Yeah. She go with you? And Mary Carl. And Mary Carl. Yeah, so it's cold. It's cold. Well, that's all right. That doesn't stop me from being excited. All right, so I'm fixing to head on over to Pedals and do my little class I got this morning. And you and Mary Carl are gonna handle the chores. We got it covered. Good. We do, don't we, Giddy? <laughs> <laughs> We'll take care of everything. You don't worry about things here. You just go and enjoy your class. Gidget, you take care of things. Oh, we don't worry. I bet people wondering, I can't believe he drives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't forgotten how. <laughs> All right, so we're here at Petals fixing to go in the class and learn a whole bunch of stuff about small fruit from Jason's dad, Dr. Powell. Let's go have some fun. to that same class by Dr. Powell 50 times and still learn something new. Man, it's just, just awesome. Tracy from Just Dig It Farm and Jason, the owner of Petals, are uh, working together with me about our fruit orchard and we got a layout and a plan now. So now I know exactly where to plant, what to plant. Um, today wasn't a good day to get fruit trees because 
we got some really cold weather coming in and it's pretty nasty outside so in the next few weeks we will be getting some more fruit trees and starting to plan out our official official fruit orchard at Cog Hill now let me get back home to the farm and the family and I might have to give Moody and Peaches and Nugget a big old hug we do a big group hug <laughs> And I